I'm excited to welcome to the program Royal Doc Alan Lindemann. Doc, what's going on, man? How are you? We're doing really well here, Neil. And you? Very good. And the topic today is miscarriage. And it's very interesting, a perfect timing to discuss this topic. How do you define miscarriage? Well, it, it is defined as expulsion or rem when the body it gets rid of the fetus or the baby in the uterus, the placenta, the sac. And it's really a matter of timing. It's considered before 20 weeks. And the thing about it is it must be complete. Everything has to come out or you will run the risk of having a fever, infection and a fever. Do I need to know my blood type? Absolutely. That's really the only thing you must know. Uh, you know, I like to see patients before uh, say seven or eight weeks, which is when most uh, miscarriages would occur. But you need to know if you're RH negative, uh, and that's a blood test, because if you are RH negative, you will need Rogam to keep from getting RH sensitized. Is it normal to have grieving associated with pregnancy and loss in a miscarriage? It certainly is. You know, in addition to being physically painful, which we know, uh, there is also emotional and uh, spiritual pain. Uh, miscarriage is a real loss. And uh, although it's most severe for moms, dads and children can uh, be also affected. And of course, uh, doctors, you know, the healthcare providers can be <laughs> affected also. Uh, you, you know, I always said I couldn't take more than three miscarriages in a week. Is it normal to feel responsible for pregnancy loss? Well, yes, it is, Neil. You know, no matter what, what the loss is, whether it's a grandfather who's 95 years old or a, um, miscarriage, there is loss and it's really common for the surviving people to have survivor's guilt. It's also very common to feel that uh, there's something that you did to cause the, the uh, miscarriage or something that you should have do, done to prevent it. But in fact, there is nothing. So you just have to work through that grieving process uh, and then get to the end, which is accommodation. What if I didn't get my COVID mRNA injection? Well, you know, that's a big deal, and I've tried not to talk about that very much. But I think that, you know, a miscarriage is a really painful time. Uh, and, uh, so of course, uh, pregnancy loss at 37, 38, or, you know, term, that's also probably more of a loss because you got more time committed to it. But the thing that your provider should never do is pour salt in the wound. You know, uh, providers, doctors, whether it's midwife or nurse practitioner or PA, they're in a position of power and they have to be careful how they use that power. And you shouldn't use that power to make people feel bad or that they've done something wrong or stupid. Uh, you know, telling them that they wouldn't have had the miscarriage of the loss if they had just had their COVID vaccination I think it's beyond cruel. Uh, nothing, nothing should be said or done to implicate the mom in pregnancy loss. If I miscarried home, what do you need to look for? Well, you know, like I said before today, uh, you really need to be sure that everything is there. So what is everything? Well, it's if you're eight weeks, you're probably going to have a hard time finding a fetus, but you probably find a clear sac with a placenta and maybe a spot of an embryo and then something called decidua, which is the lining of the uterus. And it looks like a really thick, lumpy skin, which of course is what it is. Now, if you're further along in pregnancy, say 10, 11, 12 weeks, you probably will not have any difficulty identifying a fetus. And once again, you need to make sure that your uterus is completely empty, everything is out, you don't want infection, and you need Rogam if you're RH negative. What are signs that I'm having a miscarriage? Well, a bleeding, 
cramping, uh, passing clots. Usually there's more bleeding and uh, bleeding for a longer time with a miscarriage than there is with a normal period. Uh, but the bleeding can last for up to two weeks. And if you have a fever that's over 100 degrees or think you're bleeding more than one pad per hour for more than two hours, you need to call your doctor. Or of course, if you have any concerns at all, if you think you can't stand the pain, uh, go in. All right, the best place to go is worlddocallen.com and pick up Pregnancy Way and Modern Medicine, available day on Amazon. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Neil. All right, that was the World Doc Allen Podcast, guys. Take care.